So guys, another day, another phone. This time, it's a big brother of Galaxy Note 10 5G, which I had already reviewed and how it's prevailing still in 2K22, you can find out from that video by clicking on i button. So moving on to this device, this is Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus 5G. It's a plus variant with plus feature compared to Note 10 Plus. And I'm using this device as my primary device and I have to share some of the details if you're planning to get this one for your own. As it's a old flagship phone and imported unit, so how these factor matters if you're buying this one in 2022 as your primary device. So let's check in this video. So welcome guys, it's Ofen Divyansh and you're watching Dedix. So here are the quick specification this phone offers and without wasting any time, let's leap into important point which you need to know. So first one is camera, what kind of picture quality you can expect from a 3 year old flagship phone? Answer is, it's still way better than today mid-range and premium mid-range phone and even more than most of the Chinese flagship phones. As hardware is pretty old now compared to today's phone but the software behind this phone, it captures great picture quality in variable lighting condition with ease. And here's the proof of this picture taken from Note 10 Plus 5G, it is good or not let me know in comment section. Now moving on to design and build, it's a big phone with good 6.7 inch display but its form factor is very convenient, doesn't feel uncomfortable at all, it's slim and lightweight too, make it more stylish yet comfortable to hold. Compared to Note 20 Ultra and S22 Ultra, it's the best Note series phone in terms of form factor. And build is just like flagship, aluminium frame with gorilla glass protection on both front and back make this phone even more beautiful. So it's stylish, comfortable and looks something different when you hold this phone and when you use it, all screen curved display and rectangular bar shape make this phone eye catching and it doesn't make you feel that you are using 3 year old flagship phone. So talking about display, it's a QHD display and negligible bezels curved screen give more aesthetic looks and you know Samsung known for its display so nothing to say more about it, it's the best you can get from an old flagship phone. And same goes with the sound quality and here's the coil quality of this phone. You have data balance of and it also support carrier aggregation, you won't find any difficulties while using Indian SIM on this phone. But only problem is that it's a single SIM phone, no eSIM, no secondary slot for SIM, so this is the important thing which you need to know. And it's a 5G phone and we knew about 5G band which is going to be used in India, so yes, it supports some of those 5G band like N5, N7, N260, N261, so yes, it's a 5G ready for India too. And talking about multimedia display sound, it's top notch in this one. Without any doubt the best part is curved display which looks so catchy and it's a a grade display so every content looks so nice in this with the combination of dolby support sound so yes it's still prevailing in terms of sound and display talking about performance it's good but not that great you can easily do multitasking and stuff but processor used in this device which is exynos 9825 it's not that powerful corresponding to snapdragon 855 but you can also play games in max setting possible can do heavy tasks so it's good but not flagship like best and this phone start heating after some intensive gaming so that's the performance part of this phone and moving on to features this phone offer a ton of feature in camera and in S Pen so note series or we call it S series now it's the only phone which stands out from other flagship phone from different companies 
it's not a simple bar phone which you use regularly it's something which professional use you can do lots of things from the s pen it's used for highlighting taking notes remote control and a lot of features and depth sense camera help for measurement 3d scanning and lots of smart features so this phone really gave you utter flagship experience now battery it's a decent for a day uses as i've earlier said that for galaxy note 10 non plus variant battery life is not great in that one you know you have to charge it twice even in normal uses but this one only takes single charge in normal uses too but to be honest it's still bad because exynos can't manage it pretty well it's not a power efficient chipset which results in it can't hold up even a big 4300 mAh battery Give this number to Apple iPhone they will give you a decent day long battery life with some percentage left at last so it's all Exynos thing but if you are getting Snapdragon version the outlook will be different and apart from that everything is good in this phone 12 GB of RAM is decent with 256 GB of storage it's a great combination with expandable storage option too it's a IP68 rated phone NFC Wi-Fi 6 Samsung Dex support wireless charging river wireless charging ultrasonic fingerprint scanner and a lots of thing So it's a complete package which cost you around thirty thousand right now in twenty twenty two. If you know best and genuine dealer. So some of the negative while buying this phone, as I've told you, some bad about this phone internally, which is regarding phone. But now it's an imported unit, so there are lots of things which you need to know. Like Samsung Pay won't work in this one. You can use Tap and Pay feature from Google Pay, but not from Samsung Pay, as it's need a Korean SIM card for activation. and uh, no warranty in this phone it's an imported unit so there will be a warranty issue so you have to be very careful while buying imported phones like this one they won't give you any security so you have to use it very carefully so another thing which is no box and no accessories yes some dealer provide you a phone with genuine box and accessories but i have seen most of them selling this phone without any without anything and they are giving reason that they have to tackle with custom duties and charges they are only importing phone as box and accessories amplify weight and accessories which include in this box are certified to korean standard not for indian standard you know charges required certification from bureau of indian standard bis.gov.in written in chargers so that's the reason of that they are not supplying accessories with this phone and you can charge it with any samsung charger without any issue so no worry about that so time for some frequently asked question about this phone so first is does 5g work in this as i've told you before some 5g bands like n5 n7 n260 n261 will work on this Second is there any payment app problem while transaction so guys nothing to worry about no payment banking app issue in this one you can do transaction easily third is will it support indian sim for sure it will support all sim like jio airtel vi bsnl everything and i'm using jio and it's working perfectly fine next question is it best flagship to buy around 30000 not the best in terms of performance but in terms of design camera features and look it's still the best and next question what about battery and screen on time so battery is decent in this one and screen on time depends on uses but for me as a normal user it's good last question difference between galaxy branding and samsung branding as you know there is no 10 plus 5g with galaxy branding too on the back so it's also genuine product with a snapdragon processor and that one is japan imported so you can buy that one too it's also good and genuine So guys that's all hope you will like this video and if you have any queries regarding this phone do let me know in comment section and thanks for watching video guys we will meet our next video till then take care